18,000 masks delivered this week to the jail downtown as the sheriff's office tries to contain an outbreak of coronavirus among the prisoners and corrections officers. The state attorney revealed hundreds of inmates have been released since March as part of an initiative to reduce the jail population and keep COVID-19 out. News for Jack's I-Team investigator Kelly Wiley found out since April, jail employees were instructed in some instances to wear head-to-toe protective gear to keep the virus from spreading. The Florida Department of Health says next they'll have to retest inmates who have tested positive and any inmates that they were around at the time. It's not until they get a negative result that they can be removed from isolation where they are currently being held. New shipments containing 18,000 medical masks were sent to the Jacksonville pretrial facility this week. The detention center at one time had 178 inmates test positive for the coronavirus. The state attorney's office revealed Tuesday its office has helped release just over 500 nonviolent inmates charged with low-level crimes since mid-March. It's a part of an effort to keep COVID-19 from spreading. State attorneys continue to re-review sentences officers for defendants facing less than a year in jail. The office says at least some of the 50 COVID-19 positive inmates that were released over the weekend were let out as a part of this effort. An internal Department of Corrections memo newly obtained by News for Jax shows since April 2020, employees tasked with transferring and releasing inmates have been donning full protective gear, including masks, outerwear, and gloves to process inmates with suspected or confirmed cases of COVID-19. The memo instructs employees to conduct all activities through a food flap and states personnel are not required to search cells or inmates suspected or confirmed to have COVID-19. Before the most recent outbreak, the Florida Department of Health in Duval stated there was no evidence that this was spreading prior to now. In a phone interview, the sheriff said contact tracing showed a jail doctor who who was around inmates and staff after showing symptoms was the only known lapse in protocol. The doctor is no longer employed, according to the sheriff, but worked for medical contractor Armor Correctional Health Services. Earlier today, we requested updated numbers from the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office on how many employees have since tested positive and how many inmates have since tested positive since our last update. We are we did not get those numbers today. We are waiting on them. And as we get an update, we will update you reporting in Jacksonville. Kelly Wiley, Channel 4, the local station.